Hello everyone. Have you heard the saying, Jehovah's Witnesses? How can you have a happy life? Jehovah's Witnesses thinks they the only true religion out there and they are proud and so happy wonderful people and who makes makes them happy and he puts it in their heads that they are the only true religion and when Armageddon starts they will be the only survivors everyone else here on earth will be destroyed well I'm gonna play um, a audio and let's see what we'll find out that's how people Because of the pressures and the wiles of the wicked one today, Satan the devil's trying to bring every charge against us, he's trying to make them all stick. He knows because of the trials and the pressures, he can force us to leave Jehovah's table. And so that's his goal, that's his aim. And the members of the governing body, those anointed brothers there at Bethlehem, they feel for you. They care about you. They want you to know that you're their concern. We hear it in their prayers at Bethel. Both brothers are praying long and hard about you. In fact, if you could hear one of those brothers' prayers in your behalf, it'd scare you to death. It's not just a group of men that's in a building that's just printing literature. But they feel directly responsible for you, members of the great crowd. And their other anointed brothers and sisters, they feel directly responsible. You know, they feel if anything happens to you, maybe they've been insubordinate to Christ. Maybe they haven't been faithful on their assignment. We hear it in their comments. We hear it in their prayers. We see it in their concern. They know you're out here on the front lines. You're trying to survive. Now, those of us there at Bethel, we don't have to associate with the world that much. We associate with the world by choice. We want to go out and buy some eat, go get gas, go for some entertainment. But you have to work with them. It's not by choice. You have to survive. You're on the front lines. And the brothers, they recognize that. They're concerned about that. And they do all that they can to encourage us to stay at Jehovah's table. Now, when I was a new elder, I had the privilege to... This was talking about these men are concerned about all Jehovah's Witnesses. And they pray for Jehovah Witnesses because they're afraid because many Jehovah Witnesses has left the religion, have left God's table. And that's the reason they are concerned. And they're saying the world it's so terrible that Jehovah's Witnesses is, is like in the front line of a battlefield. And these men is so concerned if Jehovah's Witnesses is going to survive the world. It's so sad. 
I used to look up to these men till I found out by doing research these men and the ones before them have lied to Jehovah's Witnesses all these years. Remember The Matrix? It was a good movie. I loved it. It kind of reminded me of looking in the world of Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. The world of Jehovah's Witnesses. And the ones that was controlling the program of Matrix was these men. And there are bodyguard guards. Well, in case say if Jehovah's Witness got out of line, they send men in there to annihilate them. And those and those was elders. But this guy helped many people, just like he helping Jehovah Witnesses. Because when you have a little doubt, and this guy see, see that you got a little doubt, he will tell you and get a little bit about those men. Your world that you're living in is a lie. You're living a dream. He'll show you two pills. One's called pill knowledge. And the other pill is called ignorance. He'll tell you that you can Go back to live your world with those men that's controlling you. Or you can take the pill of knowledge and find out the world that you're living in has been a lie. Everything that you see is a lie. The freedom they say you have is a lie. The joy and happiness you have is a lie and it's a joke. So, what should you do? You can be walking around and be ignorant and you can see on these people faces are they are they happy are they smiling how many loved ones have died because of blood transfusion how many of these people that they had to shun the members, shun the family, because they left the watchtower? Or better yet, how many took the pill of knowledge? And so these people have to shun their families because they had their family seen the truth about those eight men that controlling the virtual world of Jehovah Witnesses and the real world of Jehovah Witnesses. See, the thing is, you can have a mask on your face and you can put the word ignorance. I know I was this man. I had this mask, but I had 
doubts, so many things that made no sense. And I quit going to Kingdom Halls for a while because I thought I didn't love Jehovah. I thought it was just me and I thought he didn't love me. Till one day a challenge came to me and I was able to use it to find out that the religion that I was in was a lie. So did I take the pill of knowledge to see the real truth? Or did I take the pill of ignorance? I took the pill of knowledge. It opened up my eyes, made me realize that I was in a false religion. This woman is totally blind. She can't see the truth if it's written on paper. She can't look on the internet to see the truth about her religion, to see the back literature that was written, the first literature was written all the way up to our day to see if the lies, the deceits, dishonest, false prophecies. Unless someone tells tells her that what she's reading in Braille from the Watchtower is a lie. She won't accept it because all she can feel with her fingers is what the witnesses put in Braille. And that's sad. But this guy has a choice. He could take off his mask and he could wake up and see the real truth. So, the choice is yours. You can take and, and here's the thing you only have one choice and one time. The only good is knowledge. We have to take this now before it's too late. The reason why. The only evil is ignorance. And if, if you take this pill and want to be back into Jehovah's real world or virtual world, you're going to fall with those eight men. Because their virtual world and their real world is going to be destroyed. And whoever follow the, them will go down. And they're going to go down hard, just like all religions. That's the warning Jesus said. Get out of her, my people, if you do not want to share her faith. So my question to you, in any religion that can be a cult or false religion, do you want to take a chance to be ignorant for the rest of your life? Or will you take the pill of knowledge and to do research on your religion, on other people's religions, so you don't fall into a trap, fall into a cult and false religion like I did? It's not a pretty sight. It's not something you want to be in. Knowledge is power. Thank you.